My name is Ali Riling. I'm an engineer at Camino Zagua, a Mexican nonprofit that improves access to clean water. I'm also a member of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Today's challenge is to design and build a water timer that works by measuring how much water drips out of one container and into another. Here's a success criteria. Your timer has to measure as close to three minutes as possible and your timer has to measure the same amount of time two times in a row. Here are the materials you need. Some clear plastic containers, tape, something that can poke a small hole in the plastic cups or containers like a safety pin or a push pin, a stopwatch or a clock, and of course, some water. Before you start brainstorming possible solutions, let's talk about the flow rate of water. This is probably a new term for a lot of you, but it simply means the amount of water that flows from a pipe or a fixture within a certain amount of time, like three minutes. To see what this looks like, take one of your containers and poke a small hole in the bottom of it. Then plug the hole with a piece of tape. Now fill the plugged container about one third of the way full of water. When you're ready, place the plugged container over a second container to catch the water and unplug it. What does the water flow look like? What do you think would happen if we added more water to the plugged container? Try it out. As you're experimenting, see if the amount of water affects how strong or weak the water's flow rate is. This will be important to know as you build your water clock. As you explore different designs for your timer, think about how to set it up with your containers so that the water flows from one container to the other. Here's a hint. One container needs to be higher than the other. What can you rest the higher container on so that you don't have to hold it the whole time? When you're ready to test your timer, get a stopwatch and see how long it takes for one container to empty into the other. How close can you get to three minutes? If your timer takes more time or way less, make adjustments and try again. Also think about how the size and the shape of the container affects the timer. Is there any other container you wanna try? Want written instructions? Go to discoveree.org. And most importantly, have fun.